Welcome everyone, I'm Hayashi. I'm about to demonstrate the power of the mind. I have here a piece of paper. I won't show it to the iPhones yet. I won't show it to you yet, Steffi. You'll see it in, in just a few minutes. I'm now going to speak to Steffi. And she's going to say something in two minutes. Something interesting. I know what she's going to say. It's written on this paper. What, she had, what I have written on this paper, she's going to say in just two minutes. Now, just to make it fair, only one person, maybe Andre, if you like, you can look. Don't, don't say it, because they will know. But just look, and you will see the sentence I've written. It's in German. You see it? Okay? Good. I will leave the paper here, and I won't touch it. Fair? Steffi, I have something in my pocket. Here. Do you know what I have? Money. It's money. Six coins. Now come a little closer. It looks better on camera. And I want you to look carefully at the coins because they're very interesting. They're invisible. They don't really exist. They are imaginary coins. This is just a Gedankenspiel, a psychological experiment. Imagine I have six coins. Six. Watch. I take one, two, Three coins here. That means here I have three. three. She's good. Now, I will tell you what the coins are, so this experiment's very clear. In this hand, I have one cent, ten cent, and one euro. Very easy to remember. One, ten, and one. Here I have a two cent, twenty cent, and two euro. Two euro. She knows the game. Now, in this game we need uh, three coins, so I'm going to give you one group. In a moment, you can choose which group you like, and I will give them to you. But before you say, I know that everyone here believes you will choose this group because it's worth more. It's not. In reality, they don't exist, so the value is zero and zero. It's the same, zero. Which group would you like? You can choose, and I will give it to you. Um, one, ten, one, do, do you want this group? So I give you one cent, ten cent, one euro. Put them in your pocket, please. Merry Christmas. Maybe you find them later. Okay. Now I have three coins. I put them here, here, and here. But I won't say the positions. Look. Let me move those two and these two. Now I'm going to put them here in front of Steffi so she can see clearly. I want you to imagine that only you know the positions. Don't say it, it's just, it exists in your mind. Nobody here knows what's going on. Choose two of them, please, and hold them up like this so the, the camera can see. Go ahead. Give me one. Now, I want you to say loud for the cameras, what coin did you give me here? Please say. Um, two euros. Two euros, good. There's one in your hand. Which one is it? Please say. Twenty cents. Okay. She has now chosen the twenty cent coin. Every coin has two signs. In English, heads or tails. In German, Kopf oder Zahn. When I say go, you will take this coin. What coin is it? 20 cent. 20 cent. When I say go, you will take this 20 cent coin, throw it in the air. It can land on your hand, it can land on the table. But you choose Kopf oder Zahn, heads or tails. You say which side is showing. Ready? Go. Um. Heads. So you're saying the 20 cent coin is showing heads, correct? Yes? Yeah. In German, die 20 cent means it's like the Kopf, yes? Yeah. It's interesting. Isn't that scary? That on this paper I wrote, die 20 cent means it's like the Kopf. <laughs> Are you afraid? <laughs> you should be, because I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Now, the video is not finished to make it awesome and, and ready for you to zoom the camera in on her reaction because this is fear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. I am Hayashi, and this has been a spontaneous demonstration. <laughs>